Hello guys and welcome back to our channel, Garden of Mirth. My name is Stephanie and today I'm going to take you through a slow summer day as a new homemaker. We have been absolutely loving these sweet, slow summer days at home. I've been watching the flowers in my garden, just waiting for them to bloom so I can start one of my favorite weekly homemaking tasks, filling the house with fresh flowers. garden is particularly weedy this year, but I'm not letting that stop me from enjoying its beauty. cutting herbs for our bouquets because whatever I don't use as a green fragrant filler flower I can use as an herb in our kitchen so for culinary uses or just beautiful fragrant filler flowers in my arrangements. I love this creative outlet to create bright and whimsical bouquets to liven up the inside of our house and bring that summer magic inside. I love the creativity of being able to put together my own whimsical bouquets. They may not look like something you would buy out at the farmer's market, but they are fun and just full of beauty to me. someone say that to them being rich meant being able to fill every room in the house with flowers and I think about that every time I go out to pick flowers from our garden. Our zinnias, black-eyed Susans, and sunflowers are just now starting to bloom so we will have many more weeks of fresh blooms to enjoy inside and out. a few bud vases from Amazon and I'll link those in the description box below because I think you get 20 bud vases for $15. It's something like that and those tiny bud vases are great to use to fill up the house with flowers without having to cut all your flowers at one time.
Another skill I'm dabbling in this summer is learning how to make more fermented foods. I love making long fermented sourdough for its health benefits, so now I'm also looking into new recipes that I can ferment and add those same health benefits to things that we already eat. I'm making things like fermented pickles for the first time and trying sauerkraut. Anything that we have coming in from our garden, I'm looking at new ways to make them. Of course, I'll still can my sweet pickles that I can every year and our typical garden produce items like green beans and tomatoes, but I'm just looking for a new creative way to prepare our vegetables in the kitchen. I'm also finding new ways to prepare our fresh garden produce and things we pick up at the farmer's market. We have been craving fresh greens this summer, so I've kept homemade salad dressings in the fridge and I've loved making salad jars to keep in the fridge for quick lunches that my husband can grab as he goes to work or that I can just pop open on a busy day and not have to think about lunch. Ever since we tried this homemade ranch recipe, it's been a staple in our house, and I love adding in fresh herbs from the garden whenever I make it. My favorite summertime snack has been carrots dipped in this ranch, and after I made it for the first time, my husband begged me to always keep it stocked, so that's a win in my book. I love finding ways to make simple swaps to create cheaper and healthier food for my family. We've also used this dressing on sourdough tortillas with grilled chicken and fresh greens, and it is so good. I will link all of the recipes and the items that I'm using in this video in the description box if you're interested in making those recipes yourself. I'm loving these sweet, slow summer days at home where I can take time to be with my daughter and learn new skills to make our home more inviting and comfortable to be in. I hope you're finding new ways to love your home this summer season. If you enjoy finding new ways to cultivate joy in your home, I hope you'll hit that subscribe button and follow along with us as we cook from scratch, grow a garden, and cook delicious food for our family. Thank you for joining me on this sweet, slow summer day of homemaking. Until next time, you can check us out on the blog, gardenofmirth.com, Instagram, and Pinterest. Until next time, bye friends.